it is time for my follow-up appointment. Heading into Cup Cosmetic Dermatology. I don't know what he's gonna do this time. <laughs> it makes me a little nervous to be honest because I have no idea about this stuff. This is like way out of my pool of knowledge. So wish me luck. Off to the other side. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is perfect. Nice and 45. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see if my monster dinosaur bones have gone down. <laughs> okay, I'm in his office. Let me explain my face. This was from a pimple that I got rid of and then had you know trauma to the nose so i peeled the skin that was hanging this is from a hair that i picked at this is a rash and i don't quite know what all that is but this is a pimple on my ear you guys i've never like i didn't it doesn't hurt but i was like what is on my ear it's not over there The good news, I mean, it's not a pimple. That's what he said. What is it? I think it's most likely something called chondrodermatitis nodularis helicis, or CNH for short. Oh my gosh. Which is inflammation of the cartilage. How, how do you get that? You sleep on that side? Yes. And you have a little bit of a prominence right there, a protuberance of sorts. In my ear more than I do on this side? On your anti-helix, yes. See, it's, it's just a little bit of a, uh, that's the area that kind of pokes out the most. Is that because my pillowcase needs to be clean? No, no, not at <laughs> all. It's just because you sleep on that side and that's the area that takes the pressure. Because it, it kind of pokes out the most, if that makes sense. So if I go in and like, is that just like a little bit of dirt? No, no, it's just a little bit of pressure over time. And for whatever reason. Well, how come you... I've never gotten it before? Like... Unclear. Unclear. Maybe you were just like sleeping too aggressively on that yeah. side. <laughs> He's explaining filler to me. I don't get it. All I think of is injecting something to make you chubby. <laughs> no? And, and oftentimes when people hear filler, they think of lips gone wrong. Yes. It's like, ooh, I don't want that. I right? don't want it in my lips. But I don't even do it in the lips, mm. really. Um, filler, what it is for me, filler is the new facelift. Now, you don't need a facelift. You'll never need a facelift. But if we do a great job on filler, it just keeps you feeling like you, mm. okay, over time. Because over time, we have deep structural fat pads and they and they shrink and shrivel and the bone reabsorbs. And what we're doing is we're just kind of maintaining your facial shape, facial structure over time. Think of Julia Roberts, how she always just looks like her for 30 mm -hmm. years. She just looks like Julia Roberts. Well, Julia Roberts has a very fair skin type. She should be you know, losing that structure and losing those fat pads. But she's not. She's just maintaining over time. Losing fat pads. I mean, what do you mean? Like. So in the deep layers of your face, there's there's epidermis, yeah, dermis, yeah. and and a subcutaneous layer, and then there's deep fat pads that have like an actual chamber. So like, is structure. your face losing weight over time? Kind of, sort of, but really, mm -hmm. it's not much. There's not much weight to it. But but yes, the deep fat pads are shriveling up and losing volume. Mm -hmm. So we put the needle right back into that fat pad and re restore it reinflate it just a little bit so it's like oh that's me that's mm -hmm. the that's the cheek that's the that's the you know and, and a lot of it is back in the in the hairline structural areas that you don't see when you look in the mirror when you look in the mirror you see right here right here you don't see this stuff back here but it's still part of your face right so looking at me where do i need filler so where i would love and to is do, it most people that need it in the same place no everyone's different there are some overlap but First place I look is in the cheeks. You don't need it, right? You've got like where, just like you've right here. You've got phenomenal cheeks, right? Second place that people <laughs> need it is right here in the marionette zone. You don't need that. Okay? Where? What does it look like? It's just skinny. It starts to lose volume. You start to notice like we start to get a little bit of fullness here and hollowness here, and then like that's the jowling that happens. Oh. I call it the mountain in the valley. But you're still really nice and smooth right there. You don't I need thought that because I have these wrinkles here that I'm gonna get the jowl. <laughs> no, that's a different fat pad right there. That's and that's where I'm looking at with you. It's that's where the, right the, here. The nasal labial fold. You're just a little bit deeper right there. You've lost a little bit of volume right there, probably because you smile so much. Yes, I thought <laughs> this was a smile line, no. right? No, it, but it's very, very subtle, um, such that you look in the mirror, you're like, oh, that's me. But 
but other because people don't look at you like, oh, you did filler right there. Mm, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's just subtle, natural, so subtle, So filler natural. will, I mean, that's why I was like, don't you need Botox to get rid of this wrinkle? No, Botox works on muscles. Remember, it, it weakens the muscles. If you put Botox right there, you'll, you'll wipe out your smile. You'll never be able to smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so why then does it work for the wrinkles here? Because that's a muscle thing. The muscle pulls, and those are dynamic lines from, from the muscle. But these are actually, this is hollow from loss of fat pad. And you just lose fat pads when you age. Aging, also sun damage, you know, speeds it up. Yeah. Okay. It's always the so, sun. So when you're aging and the wrinkles here, it's not so much wrinkles from smiling. This is actual fat pad loss. Yeah. But also mm -hmm. from smiling. All of the layers are affected, right? Mm -hmm. And we need to understand what's happening at each layer. And filler, you know, talking about filler, filler takes care of the deep structural layer. And we've got to get that right. It's like, like building a foundation for a house. You've got to get the foundation before you put the roof on, right? I got ahead of myself. So I need it here. Mm -hmm. And where else? And you have a little bit of hollowing. You, you can't see this in the mirror, but right here by your ear, we call that the preauricular area. You're a little bit hollow right in there. Okay. okay. It's like a dip, like a hip dip. So you've got a strong cheek and you've got a strong jawline, but a little bit of relative hollowing in between. And mm -hmm. that can start to look too hollow over time. Like I'll look like Skeletor. Yeah. Right? Like it will go Skeletor, in and out. Skeletor, He-Man. Very nice. <laughs> she -Ra. Like I am She-Ra. That's not a bad one. SpongeBob and She-Ra. But right. So what? Because you just look more like a skeleton? You can. Yeah. It can start to look too hollow. And it's like, oh, you're losing too much weight, darling. Yeah. You need to. Yeah. Yeah. So so we keep a little bit of filler right in there. And that's just some nice, youthful you. Hmm. And no one ever notices that hmm. beforehand. But then we do it and they're like, oh, oh that's okay. cool. That's me. Cool, right? Anywhere else? No, just those two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The plan is filler today, which will help this area, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So he's saying like over time and age and sun, you lose some of the mass in your, the fat pads of your face, right? That's right. And then I look like- that's, I, what, that's when you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't, it doesn't look like me anymore. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like me anymore. I'm gonna show you guys a picture. Um, remember when I did those fitness pictures, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And then I saw the original and I was like, oh, I had, he took these wrinkles out. I'm gonna have to show you this. Really? I was like, oh my gosh. Now I notice them more because I was like, I didn't notice them until you see that you see that they're gone and then you see them again. So that will fix this. I'll attach that picture. right. And I'll say a disclaimer, like there's nothing wrong with aging and wrinkles. Like, right. If you want to own it and live it and hey, every wrinkle tells a story. I love that. That's fantastic. But if you want to kind of hold on to you and the, the you feel youthful on the inside, you want the face to reflect the youthfulness, that can be really powerful too. You're just confident. And that's yeah. one of the great things. Um, Dr. Pope has really uh, made me kind of self-reflect a little bit more and be less judgmental about people, I guess, because we live in this culture here in Utah, at least, where if you are doing Botox and if you're doing filler and if you're doing lip injections and butt injections or whatever it is, you Which are we vain. Don't do those. We right. Don't do <laughs> you're vain and you're not naturally aging as you should and you're just you're have no self-esteem and no confidence and you're just trying to make up for it with all this face stuff i thought that you know but i grew up knowing that this was just a luxury that nobody can afford when really it's going to help the acne it's going to help the lines here which will make me feel more confident and what's the difference with getting boob jobs which every woman in this state gets after having babies i mean it's just the truth remember i was going to get one <laughs> It just hasn't happened yet because someone left the, the family and I couldn't afford it suddenly. But um, it's nice to be able to enhance the thing that everybody looks at. One, one great way to think about it is, you know, if, if someone that you love needs braces, you wouldn't yeah. hesitate at all to say, hey, yeah. get braces because it's going to make your smile it's look better. It's so true. It's going to affect your confidence and how you interact with the world. Right. Filler, but injections are like braces for the, for the rest of the face. Hmm. It really is. It really can help with the, the, that confidence and how you perceive yourself. Okay. So I heard it hurts. Nah. No? Piece of cake. Lips hurt. If you do lip injections, those, those hurt. hurt. But where we're going to go, kind of back in here, back in here, there's a, a lot fewer nerves. Won't hurt. You, you probably feel a little bit little better. Pinch. But not okay. Too bad. So, fill, Botox and filler, they're both injections of some kind. They're hyaluronic acid in yeah. the filler. And, and yes, hyaluronic acid. And it really is, we're at the point in life right now in, in, in this industry where 
you probably never need to have a facelift. If we just do a really good job with, with a needle, then you'll never need the knife. Because it's just upkeep, it's maintaining. And it's maintenance over time, right. And, and it's even a mentality shift where you just kind of take care of yourself over time. Mm. To, if, if you were to, to get a facelift versus do this stuff 10 years later, you're gonna be so much better off. The person who has the facelift, it'll look really good for a little bit and then they'll come right back down because they never, because they don't change their behaviors. They don't change their routines. Mm. They don't have the, you know, the someone holding their hand along right. the way. Right, right. Yeah. So when I, when you do um, filler, does your face almost start to uh, accustom, become accustomed to it? And, and, or is it like, will it, or do you just have to keep it up every, how long, so, how much is great, filling? Great question. In the upper face, kind of the cheeks and some of this area back here, it lasts for two years. Oh. Yes. Around the mouth, it lasts more like one year mm. because we move so much in that yeah. area. Okay. So we're going to do it here, right? So yeah. I'm not so like, like Skeletor when I lose weight in my face and then right here. Okay. Let's do it. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, you need to relax. Okay. Yeah. Just relax. Okay. Close your eyes, find your happy place, go to, go to, okay, if you go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Mm. On some roller coasters. Roller coasters, okay. Let's talk roller coasters. What, what roller coasters do you like? Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm. I've never been there. I love roller coasters, I've never been there. Can we put a Disney in and just make it better or worse? Like, okay. Okay. A little distraction, good job. Perfect. How are you doing? Some rib sensation. Yeah. Weird is the right word. Not terrible, right? Just kind of weird. Mm hmm. You can hear the little cracking. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, grab that mirror. This side versus mm -hmm. that side. Mm -hmm. You see how it's just subtly better? Yeah. Less skeletal. You guys tell. <laughs> <laughs> Point to it again. Right in here. Versus on this side, you see how it, it dips Dips. in more right there? Yeah. It's like a hip dip, like little hips. I get it. I mean, I have to like use it in lifting weights. Yeah. It's hard to see in the mirror, but it's like. You don't see, you don't ever see right here, but but others you know yeah, see yeah. here. But it also just like contributes to that to that rounded face, structure. that proportion. Yeah. Go yeah, to me. I got you. We're gonna actually probably <laughs> at least one more of these. Bring two more in. Let's see what we get. Is that that big one? Yeah, that's the entry point. Oh, I think that's the entry point. Okay. It looks like it's really coming in. Mm. Well, Paris just went to Jerusalem. So I don't know if you go to Jerusalem. I love international travel. Have you been there already? I've not been there. Okay. I've been to Paris one time. Have you ever been? One of the top areas for me is England. I don't know if you've been to that. Not that one. You've been there then? What's that? You've been there? No. Oh, you haven't been there? No. Of course, all of our ancestors are from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels like you're twisting. Are you twisting? I'm just moving it around. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, you can watch that on the yeah, other thing and see if that's something to show the people or not. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. So hold that mirror up again and try to remember how how vivid Dip that was. Yeah. But now it's just much more smooth. Do you see? Yeah. Yeah, I can. It was more of a. I always thought that was a good thing because it shows your cheekbones. A little but bit. Like, a little bit is a good thing. But not thing, too but much not too when much. it's like, yeah. Yeah. We're trying to soften those sharp angles just a little bit. Okay. Great job, my dear. You're great. Yeah. Can you tell the difference? I love it. <laughs> Filler is his jam. Filler is his jam. Filler is my special special. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get you some distraction. Yeah. Perfect. Just 
Yeah, that's closer to the lips, so you feel a little more. Okay. Okay, so a little numbness in my lips just from the lidocaine, right? Yep. The lidocaine and... She did great. Yeah, I She's didn't do that. Okay, so explain what you did to that. Okay, did. so we put some filler right in here where she was getting hollow. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see even now that there's less of a divot. There's less scalloping right there. And it just looks a little bit more... There's still contour. There's still that mm -hmm. nice feminine contour. But, mm -hmm. but where you had lost volume, it's back. Well, and then when I went in like that then i have giant masseters <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're working on we're working on bringing the masters down and, mm -hmm. and filling in the area that we lost volume and also a little bit of volume loss here and we filled that in but it still looks very normal very natural it's yeah. not overdone it's not too much yeah it's very and much then, you and then i just stopped picking no, well I'm it's because like when you have the teeny tiny little hair you try to get it and it's not ready to be taken because <laughs> it's too small the answer you know? is the answer is just don't ever pick at your skin. If there's something that you feel like you want to pick, just don't. Just don't do what it. What about pimples and whiteheads? They always say don't, but don't you want to pick those? Leave them alone and they'll Even come though, home. It's true. Like the they do go away. But what about like the whiteheads? They will stay white, I swear. Okay, so what happens? <laughs> well, we're going in all sorts of directions, aren't we? What happens with a with a whitehead pimple? So it, the the when it's white, white, we call it the zit is white, ready to harvest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you just do a little bit of a like just like this, like boop. Hands off. To be done. Okay, because okay. what you do is like, ooh, I got a little bit out. Maybe if I keep pushing, mm. I'll get more out. Mm -hmm. And then we people come in with a massive sore that's just yeah. majorly inflamed, and that's going to lead to a scar. So honestly, it's better. Like, if you want to err on the side of caution, just don't ever touch it. And it and will, it will take care of itself. Yeah, yeah, but everybody. But the white, but to get the top part of it out is okay. Yeah, that's fine. As long as we just like, that's it. That's it. Hands off. Okay. Or I can do it for you. Just come yeah, in, I'll take I'll it. It's my favorite in. thing, actually. <laughs> it is? <laughs> do you follow Dr. Pimple Popper? I know Dr. Pimple Popper. Are you serious? Yes, yes. How? I met her at a meeting one time. She's a delightful person. Was she... She's um, a great dermatologist. Was she big then, too? Oh, she was, she was bigger than I did. She's massive, yeah. yeah. She gave me a free pair of socks. Did she really? <laughs> that is so cool. I'm trying to feel my lips here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is Cope Cosmetic Dermatology in Highland. And he does it all all the doctor stuff because he's like we're going to talk medically first and then we'll talk what cosmetically yeah. and one thing that we do too which is which is kind of because we, we don't take any insurance but we kind of have our own insurance mm. which is if if you do if you're a cosmetic patient then we'll take care of your medical skin stuff for free so all the mm. rashes and the acne and the mold checks so you don't take removed. insurance even for the dermatology part mm. even for the medical part no really yeah we have we have you know 
fair prices for yeah, Anna, yeah. but if you're doing any form of anything it's cosmetic, we'll just do it for free. We'll do the medical for free. Okay. So if I have a wart that needs to be burned off, you can do I that. I will so okay. gladly burn off your wart. And your kids. <laughs> you know, if your kids have to bring them in. You're a cosmetic patient now, so. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Do I look weird, you guys? I really can't feel my lip. So there's a little bit of lidocaine in the filler, and, and when we go up here, it kind of blocks the nerve for the lip. So that's why the lip feels a little, little weird. So stay out of the sun. So this, even when I smile, like it will, will it, it won't stay there. The wrinkle doesn't stay when it comes back, right? Yeah, so it's just going to be softer all the time. Okay. Yeah, because it was pretty pronounced here too. Yeah. Okay. Check him out. Fun Dr. stuff. Dr. Austin Cope, and he's a good dancer. And here is... Hey. <laughs> She's the one that did the awesome Bella facial. Come in for that, if anything. All right, until next time. What's next time? Next time, we're going to do some laser. Yes, that's what I <laughs> Stay tuned. You guys see my face? You see any differences? So he filled here. And here. And right here. And here. I got to go get this rash taken care of. I'm sorry. I'm doing some work. And these guys are right next to me. <laughs>